Thank okay. you guys very Hello, my name is Peter, and welcome to another episode of In the Valley, Season 3. Oh. Uh, I'm your host, Peter. Hi. Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We've been away for too long. Oh, my God. Anyways, to today we have in the house Espresso. What's up? Peace. Yeah, what's up? Wow, that was too hyped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. so meta. Very cool. Oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, look, there it is. All right. Go. So, uh, <laughs> tell us a bit about you guys yourselves. Uh, who's who? Uh, so, me on guitar and vocals. <laughs> uh, I'm His name Dash. Is me. My M name is I me. I I E. No, my name is Dash. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and and this is Alex. I'm Alex, and I play guitar and vocals. Uh, I'm Colin. I play guitar and vocals. <laughs> <laughs> and together we are Espresso. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So how did this uh, band come about? How did you, how did you guys? Uh, we happen? met in jail. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, we um. <laughs> we we met at school. We yeah. all went to school together. And then uh, sounds like a prison. We, were, yeah. <laughs> we actually met in middle school. Yeah, all of us like, together. Is that where you got that tattoo right there? Yeah. <laughs> in middle school. Prison. Middle school. He got his first tattoo at the age of four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Enough yeah. of the small talk. Right. Let's move yeah. on to the music. Yeah. yeah. That's what everyone comes here for. Oh, <laughs> so talk. go ahead and play. Oh yeah. Okay. This one's called Two Fourths of Three. One, two, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You all right there? Yes. <laughs> Shit. For now. <laughs> right. Hold on. Hold on for what? No, I said voila. Voila, he oh, said. Oh, oh. Voila. Well, I guess uh, we were going to talk about origins, but... Uh, like of I man? What, well, what, you're, what, what you did the name Espresso <laughs> come from for you guys? Like, what Well, what made you guys want to name it? Well, me and Dash first started uh, doing music again. We were in his room, and... Uh, Dash was like, we have to come up with a name right now or else we would never will. And he had an espresso cup on his 
What, is like your chair? On my there? desk. Something like that. And I was just like, espresso? And he's like, yeah. yeah. It was really, <laughs> yeah, really half assed. And we, we were like, that was our working name for like about a year. Like, we were trying to change Really it for thinking a while. of other things, but we honestly couldn't. We're like, yeah. no, I don't, I don't it's know. It's us, and we're now yeah. we're used to it. <laughs> and then uh, one time Bono told me, he was, I'm not kidding. He was like, I was like, oh, my man's espresso. He's like, I could use some mid-tempo in my life. And I was like, dude, that's the weirdest thing anybody's ever said when I told him my band's name is Espresso. Yeah, said a lot of things, and that's not Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're not going <laughs> to change Usually the <laughs> response is, Espresso? Oh, espresso. Oh, like the oh, coffee? Oh, Espresso, or, yeah. Yeah, say, or like the coffee. I'm like, no, like the sandwich. I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Yes. <laughs> like Subway. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's where it came from. That's how it is. That's how it will be until... It until Dash dies. <laughs> wow, oh, Alex music. is gonna die first. We <laughs> no one else dies, just Dash. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play another song. We'll start talking about stupid shit. There uh, we close go. enough. Alex? Close enough? One. In that case, what is your guys' um, uh, influences? Like, who are your influences? Uh, so our main... It sounds like funk. Yeah, yeah, definitely Red Hot Chili Peppers. I love them. He, he, he started playing bass because of Flea. As did 
Yeah. <laughs> as everyone. <laughs> and every I'm very me. much influenced by John Frusciante, as every <sighs> guitarist is also. And uh, and then also Sublime and The Doors. Oh, yeah. All like, you know, pretty generic bands, but they're all pr- they're all great. So I like <laughs> a band is big for a reason. Yeah, for yeah. yeah for they, they have good songs. So the fact that people, if you tell somebody like, "Oh, I like this big band," yeah. people are like, "What?" You're like, "Oh, you're on that bandwagon." And yeah, you're yeah. like, "No, dude, they're it's big like, for no, a reason. Just they like have really good." good. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and those I, are the main ones. And then we like funk you? music. Oh, I, I like punk rock a lot, and I like funky. Mu- dude, I like freaking everything, but like, it mainly it's punk and like hip hop. Um, and I feel like it kind of comes out in my playing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. For me, it's like kind of like groovy psychedelic stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's like the Flaming Lips. Yeah, Flaming Lips, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. You guys have any, like, uh, musical training, or at least, like, someone went to school for... You just uh, no school. It school for it. Yeah, yeah, none of us went to school, it's but like we, we all good enough lessons. to go to school yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just lessons. Yeah, lessons. Mm-hmm. When we were younger, and then they take lessons still. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, really nice. Other than that, no... no. And then uh, behind that, like your guys' like music and like well, your guys' songs, like what is your uh, creative writing style behind that? Uh, like a lot. The songs. A lot yeah, of times, like, like the they they'll jam on like a sweet groove, and then I'll just like put some guitar in over it, and then we'll all work on like the structure together, <clears throat> and then usually after that, we'll write the lyrics and like come up with the melody. Yeah, the lyrics are always last. Yeah. Like, uh, last or like later. somebody will come with an idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, Especially with lyrics, like somebody will come with an idea of what they want the song to be about. And then actually for the last album, all of us pretty much just sat down together and, and wrote. There were, there weren't yeah. many two yeah. many songs that uh somebody just came in with a whole song. Yeah. But so it's it's pretty it's pretty like it's um, very equally distributed like yeah. creatively. Mm. Yeah. So it's cool. I all think right. it makes things easier that way because you yeah. have like two yeah. other dudes to tell you what's cool and what's not cool. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's like a collective. Yeah. Yeah. The, the workload is less when you have yeah. like more yeah. people contribute to a yeah. song. And, and not too many that. people either because three is like just enough. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, if, I don't know, also it's like if somebody is not really pulling their weight, then like obviously in a group of three you'll be able to tell. So mm-hmm. like everybody has to be all. Shape up. Yeah. And like do their part. has to be yeah. doing their part or else it just won't sound good. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll play a song called Alvin Bovin. It's like kind of the title track on our uh, okay. latest release, yep. but it's not not really. It just has the same name. <laughs> All right, cool. Take it away. Do you think you can guide us through like um, 
the process of writing that particular song, um, what's the song about? You know, how do you guys start uh, uh, building? I it? actually wrote that bass line for a punk song. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. I wrote, they were, I wrote they were doing another song. little, a little another little thing with some other people. Yeah. And so he wrote, wrote it for a punk song. Yeah. Yeah, that was designed to be a punk bass line, but then. Start doing ska? I think we, we were just kind of like, hey, try this ska thing. I'm like, okay. And then it, it sounded cool. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. you thought of the. At a oh, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, I, I used to work at a farmer's market, and, and just like when I was working, <laughs> I thought of the. Just in my head, like the chorus part, and I was like, that's super cool. So, <laughs> so we just put them together. Yeah, that's how a lot of songs come together, too. It's yeah. like two different things, and we're just like, what if we just do them? And then I think once <laughs> those were together, then the ending part that's like. I just like I think I came up with that, right? Yeah, I think yeah. we just wanted to add like something yeah. sick at the end. Yeah. And, and then, then the lyrics, uh, I wrote like a bunch of them and then I brought them to these guys and then we like revised them and then wrote like a chorus cuz I don't think I had a chorus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh and then the song is about like this kind of alter ego that Alex has uh that we call Alvin Bovin and that's just like him when he's like like on a sick one, like going all <laughs> crazy or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it, it in like Alvin Bowman's kind of all of us. He's like the yeah. spirit of espresso. That's right. It's like it's all the stories. Yeah. That it's just a bunch of like one line like of things of just like funny shit made, that we've done. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. So if you actually like if you listen, they're kind of fast, so it might be kind of hard to listen yeah. to. But if you listen to lyrics, they're all like little instances like that happen. Making happened. time to fuck around, knocking teeth out on the ground, writing papers on a trip, begging send to take no. a rip. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, just like a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah. Like, and how how long does like yeah. usually it take to like write write a song or? Uh... Oh, it's taken us forever and it's taken us no time. Like it's. Yeah, yeah. it really depends. Uh, we used to like really make our songs like, like put a bunch of different parts into them, and we're like, oh, just because we thought that was cool, and then we started playing shows, and we were like, like, oh fuck, people don't know what to do when we keep switching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we started like toning it down a little bit and making like more fluid parts and stuff like that yeah and once we realized that's kind of the way to do it um writing songs became a little bit easier mm -hmm. and like alex said sometimes it takes a long time sometimes yeah it takes, like, and no yeah time. sometimes because of that it takes longer because you're like oh i can't just go into this other part that sounds totally different i need to make it sound the same like yeah. similar you know so would it be more important to like have like like focused songs and like you know where people yeah. are able to like get the feel and the whole vibe of it. Well, I think it, or, it's uh, also so that we get the feel and the whole yeah. vibe. I mean, we weren't, we didn't even know what the fuck to do in those parts, right? It would go all crazy. I mean, we, yeah. I mean, we're still learning how to write songs, but yeah. I feel like we got better in that. Like, yeah, like, we, we made it more of a cohesive song. Once yeah. you have like an idea of how a song should be in your head, or like how a reaction should be in your head, and you go out and play it, and if you get the, that reaction, you're like, oh, okay, cool, that came off how I want to come but if you yeah. don't and you're just like okay like uh, trial and error like that yeah, didn't work maybe <laughs> we can fix fix this song or whatever um, that's why usually we'll like make a bunch of songs and then then play them and then see how they go and then record the album mm -hmm. just just to see like yeah. if it's worth even recording mm -hmm. yeah so know? then like I guess it comes down to that last question like what sets the standard for an espresso song if we all like it, honestly, yeah. like yeah. I mean, if if one of us doesn't like one of the parts and we're like, that's dumb, we need to change it. We <laughs> usually do like a two thirds vote. That's yeah, that's what we much, decided yeah. at the beginning. Like everything, we'll just do like two thirds vote. Yeah. Like if you like this and he likes this, we'll do that. If two Unless people, it's like me and Colin come up with the lyric like "fuck Dashel." <laughs> yeah. Dashel's like, I don't like that. Oh, it's two thirds. <laughs> yeah, then he can't really do that. But, but um, yeah, for the most part, if we like the song and we like how it comes out. And then we end up recording it, and we like how like we we've had songs before where we've recorded, and then we, we're like, nah, it didn't come out just how we wanted it, so we just cut it. And yeah. then like one song in particular, we it's called Crystal Ball. Uh, we recorded it before, like in a house. while ago. Yeah. Didn't like how it came yeah. out. Recorded it for this new album, and really liked how it came out. So it just ultimately depends on like kind of the time we put in and how we feel about it, and if yeah. we like it and how it comes together. But uh, yeah, if we like the song, then we'll play it. If we genuinely, I, that's how every band is. They wouldn't yeah. play a song they don't like. Yeah, you know <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. So. Um, what you got? This is more a question along in the studio realm. Uh, what you got? Like, you guys said that you've recorded uh, you recorded a couple of albums, right? Or a couple yeah. EPs, yeah. couple like albums, three. Yeah. Um, self-made or you guys actually went the first through, like, two. The first, the first two. The first two. Yeah, the first two were like 
we did pretty much at my house with like mm-hmm. a and like a direct line in interface for the guitar and bass. Okay. And then we like the uh, first one I recorded drums at my cousin's house. Yeah. And then second one we bought a, a mic drum mic set. Right. Not right super yeah. nice, but like it worked. Yeah, and then we did it in my basement. It's kind of funny that some of those, the songs on, like, the first album, right? the drums sound like shit, but it kind of makes the song, like, have a certain vibe to it. So yeah. it's, <laughs> like, peop- there's one song in particular, it's called Galaxy that people really like, mm. but we hate how it's recorded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the drums sound Like, shitty. the drums sound so bad, but people like it, and, I, I mean, I understand why people like it, because it's just, like, a like a really, like, vibe-intense song yeah, that you can just song. kick back and mm. listen to. Uh, and then in the second album, we kind of got a little bit better with producing it. Dash, yeah. like, started to know more about, like, sound and putting sound into a track or Equalizing whatever. Equalizing all that Right, stuff. right. Uh, so the drums sound a little bit better. Still didn't sound like... Studio quality. Yeah. And this last one, we went to a studio and we yeah. got it. Mm-hmm. So it uh, sound that was super better. Cool. Yeah, and then re- and, uh, I guess in regards to the, the song that you were saying, the drums were shit and uh, yeah, yeah. what you got. I guess this is just a detriment to how good a song is. I mean, like, you know... That could have just I come out of so. anywhere, like yeah. either like quality producing or like you know yeah. homegrown producing. But you know that kind of yeah, yeah. shows the st- uh, quality of the song. Definitely. Also, I feel like built. the quality of the recording kind of adds something to the song itself. Yeah. Like if you listen yeah. to uh, an artist like Unknown Mortal Orchestra, their albums are really it's like lo-fi, lo-fi or whatever, yeah. but it gives a certain vibe to it. Yeah. Or like something that's highly produced. Uh, that gives like yeah sometimes it sucks you know yeah, like so. it's oversaturated yeah yeah like so i guess uh one more question or at least one or two more uh, before we go um good. best and worst experience in the studio mm. when you guys are recording um, oh uh <laughs> this is, for me this is a best and yeah, worst i would, because I would it say with, with eric at the it close enough yeah, yeah. Close enough. um it was the best and worst because it was fucking grueling and tiring and really upsetting, but it's also the most satisfying. It's like one part in one of our songs, Close Enough, it's like... It's yeah, like something like it that. it took him like but it just, so many I was literally, it was on loop, and I was just there with the producer. Just doing it, and it was so Sp- I don't speaking even know, to I was like going mad, like, I was literally going insane. And then we finally got it, and we were both so happy, and so it was the best and the worst. I, I have yeah. a best one. Um, so we have a song called Spaceship Space Dick, <laughs> and uh, it's it's like it's not like crazy vulgar, but there's a part to it where it's like it a sounds heavy like sex sound. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, me and Colin are underneath the blanket. <laughs> it's talking to the mic, dude. Yeah. Me and Colin are underneath the blanket. First of all, just like for, so, for just us too. Yeah, like like we're in a sound room and we're <laughs> downstairs in Dashwell's basement and Dashwell's da- uh, Dashwell's mom is upstairs <laughs> and me and Alex are just like, oh, yeah, like oh, we did this fuck, in one try. Like, oh, oh, fuck yeah. me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck. Just like yelling, <laughs> like yelling really loud. And then Dashiell's mom got so mad. Yeah, she got, She's she like, got really I don't want you guys recording here anymore. Yeah. Like Alex and Colin are like being so gross, like all this stuff. <laughs> and me and Alex so that just... that was a one take and we had to just use it because yeah, we couldn't was, do I it I mean, it was, it was gold. But it's exactly. so it funny. Like the whole situation, like what we were doing, his mom upstairs just thinking about his mom listening to that. <laughs> like what the like, fuck is going like, on? Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh my, it's so funny. Like that's probably one of the best experiences. It was so funny. <laughs> Down like a bonus track. Just her coming down. What the fuck is going down? Oh, that? dude, I wish. I, I wish really we were recording wish. still. <laughs> yeah, that was probably one of the one of the like most memorable experiences recording. I don't, Josh, do you have one? Oh, I can't think of anything. Nothing bad, nothing good. Um, that was a pretty good one. Oh no, the, the thing in close enough where you did like the voice. Oh, oh yeah. we had to put tequila yeah. in him to sing yeah. close enough. Yeah. So I, we were working on this one song with this one producer and. Uh, one, this one track we did all in a studio. The other ones we did like uh, a half, in, like the instrumentals in the studio, and I went home to record the vocals. But this one I had to do like at the studio, which I'm not usually used to. Yeah, so we had to like like get some alcohol in me. And, <laughs> well, uh, the producer Eric, our friend, really nice guy. Yeah, great. He producer. leaves for a second, comes back down with alcohol, like big like ass with bottle some, tequila. He's uh, like, some we're mescal. doing shots. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, all right. And I was shot, like, bro? fuck yes. <laughs> and uh, and then there's one part where I say, can can you demonstrate all your freaky ways? And they're like, well, you should say, can you demonstrate all your freaky ways? So then just like I did that. It was funny. Can it. you demonstrate all your freaky ways? Yeah. And then he did it. <laughs> and then he did it. That song is He's like, better. no, dude, I'm not like, going to do that. Yeah, that's weird. And then it came out. Like, and then he better. did it. It was really funny. <laughs> nice. Right. Nice. Uh, so question. we'll play. Are you done? All right. I guess we're done here. All right. Huh? Well. Was that four songs? 
No, no, no. We're, we're we're, you guys are going to close it with the oh, okay. last yeah, song. Yeah. Don't worry about it. What song? I forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but uh, I guess, uh, do you want to play Galaxy Central? Do you have any better ideas? Well, while oh, they're yeah, while the they're deciding time. on which line to play, <laughs> uh, what you call it, we're gonna close it off here. Uh, we've been your host. Uh, we've been in, or at least we're we're recording from Pop Studios. Pop Studios. And, uh, that was awkward. You know, hey, we're recording yeah. here from Pop Studios, and you don't uh, have to put your hands up. I'm either. gonna put my hands up if I want to, motherfucker. Anyways, Espresso's gonna close us off and uh, take it away. Stay tuned for the next yeah. couple shows. There you go. Yeah, that's a cool solo. Uh, this one's called Piglet's Journey. Oh. Go